He made Israel pass through the midst, for his love endures forever. He flung Pharaoh and his force in the sea, for his love endures forever. To the desert his people he led, for his love endures forever. Nations in their greatness he struck, for his love endures forever. Kings in their splendor he slew, <clears throat> for his love endures forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his love endures forever. And of the king of Bashan, for his love endures forever. He let Israel inherit their land, for his love endures forever. On his servant their land he bestowed, for his love endures forever. He remembered us in our distress, for his love endures forever. And he snatched us away from our foes. For his love endures forever. He gives food to all living things. For his love endures forever. To the God of heaven give thanks. For his love endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. To God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. By this we know love, that he gave his life for us. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, remembering Zion. On the poplars that grew there, we hung up our hearts. For it was there that they asked us, our captors for songs, our oppressors for joy. Sing to us, they said, one of Zion's songs. Who oh, how could we sing the song of the Lord on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Who oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not? If I prize not Jerusalem above all my joy? Remember, O oh Lord, against the sons of Edom. The day of Jerusalem, when they said, Tear it down, tear it down to its foundations. O Babylon, destroyer, he is happy who repays you the ills you brought on us. He shall seize and shall dash your children on the rock. Glory <clears throat> to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. <clears throat> Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. O God, give your judgment to the King, to a King's Son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May defend the poor of the people, and save the children of the needy, 
and brush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's mouth. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the sea gods shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak, and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives, to him their blood is dear. Long may he live, may the gold of Shiva be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing, and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land, to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May men flourish in the cities, like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever, and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever bless his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God, who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in life. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. So that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead. From the first letter of Peter. In your relations with one another, clothe yourselves with humility, because God is stern with the arrogant, but to the humble he shows kindness. Bow humbly under God's mighty hand, so that in due time he may lift you high. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Stay sober and alert. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, solid in your faith, realizing that the brotherhood of believers is undergoing the same sufferings throughout the world. The God of all grace, who called you to his everlasting glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish those who have suffered a little while. Dominion be his throughout the ages. Amen. There was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and Jesus was there with Mary, his mother. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their throne. And has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our father. To Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. There was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and Jesus was there with Mary, his mother. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us rejoice in our God, for he takes delight in bestowing benefits on his people. Let us fervently pray. 
Eternal God, for whom a thousand years are like the passing day, help us to remember that life is like a flower which blossoms in the morning but withers in the evening. Give your people manna to satisfy their hunger and living water to quench their thirst for all eternity. Let your faithful ones seek and taste the things that are above and let them direct their work and their leisure to your glory. Grant us good weather, Lord, that we may reap the copious fruits of the earth. Show the faithful depart in the vision of your face. Let them rejoice in the contemplation of your presence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, fill us with that spirit of courage which gave your martyr Sebastian strength to offer his life in faithful witness. Help us to learn from him to cherish your love and to obey you rather than man. Almighty and eternal God, you keep together those you have united. Look kindly on all who follow Jesus your Son. We are all consecrated to you by our common baptism. Make us one in the fullness of faith and keep us one in the fellowship of love. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of January the 21st. Memorial of St. Agnes, a young 12-year-old Roman, Roman martyr at the end of the 3rd century who, according to St. Ambrose, gave a double witness to Christ by her chastity and by her faith. Of Laval, France, blessed John Baptist du Cognier and his companions. Among these were 14 priests and several religious martyred during the French Revolution for their fidelity to the Roman Church and for their consecration to God. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.